Hello, this is Ava Rowe, and today I'm going to be telling you about chapters 14 and 15 of To Kill a Mockingbird. In chapter 14, the appending of Tom Robinson and Atticus's role as a defense lawyer make Jim and Scout the objects of whispers and glances whenever they go to town. One day, Scout tries to ask Atticus what rape is, and Atticus changed the subject of attending Calpurnia's church. Aunt Alexandra tries to convince Atticus that they no longer need Calpurnia, but Atticus refuses. That night, Jim tells Scout not to antagonize Alexandra. Scout gets very angry for being lectured and attacks Jim. Atticus breaks up the fight and sends the children to bed. Scout discovers something under her bed. She calls Jim into her room, and they discover Dill hiding there. Dill ran away from home because his mother and new father did not pay attention to him. He took a train from Meridian to Maycomb Junction, which is 14 miles away. He covers the remaining distance on foot and on the back of the cotton wagon. Jim goes down the hallway and tells Atticus. Atticus asks Scout to get more food than a pan of cornbread for Dill before going next door to tell Dill's aunt, Miss Rachel, of his whereabouts. Dill eats, then gets over into Jim's bed to sleep, but soon climbs over to Scout's bed to talk things over. Chapter 15. In chapter 15, in a week after Dill's arrival, a group of men led by Mr. Hectate come to Atticus's house in the evening. As his trial is nearing, Tom Robinson is to be moved to the Macomb County Jail and concerns about the lynch mob has arisen. Later, Jim tells Scout that Alexandra and Atticus have been arguing about the trial. She nearly accused him of bringing disgrace on the family. The following evening, Atticus takes the car into town. About 10 o'clock, Jim, accompanied by Scout and Dill, sneak out of the house and follows Atticus to the town center. From a distance, they see Atticus sitting in front of the Maycomb jail, reading a newspaper. Jim suggests to Scout that they should not disturb Atticus and return home. At that moment, four cars drive into Maycomb and park near the jail. A group of men got out and one demands that Atticus move away from the jailhouse door, but Atticus refuses. Scout suddenly comes racing out of her hiding place next door only to realize that this group of men differs from the group that came to their house the previous night. Jim and Dill follow her and Atticus orders Jim to go home, but Jim refuses. One of the men tells Atticus that he has 15 seconds to get his children to leave. Atticus looks around the group and sees Mr. Cunningham, Walter Cunningham's father. 
she starts talking to him about his legal entailments and his son and asks him to tell his son hello and all of the men stare at her. Mr. Cunningham, suddenly ashamed, squats down and tells Scout that he will tell Walter Cunningham hello for her and then tells his companions to clear out. They depart and Mr. Underwood, the owner of the newspaper, speaks from a nearby window with a double barreled shotgun. Atticus and Mr. Underwood talk for a while and Atticus sends the children home. That sums up with chapters 14 and 15 and I will see you on the next episode of chapters 16 and 17.